So you just created your RStudio account and you're trying to use it maybe for analyzing data, maybe for your job, or you're doing it for a class, like the purpose of this video here. What are you going to do to make this thing actually work for you? So you've got this blank screen. It looks nothing like a spreadsheet or anything you've ever seen. Um, so what are you going to do to make this work? So you can click on new project or that arrow and then plus new project. Either will do the same thing. And it's going to prepare and deploy a project. That may take a little bit of time depending upon one, your computer and the internet that you're connected to. If your broadband access is slow, then it might take longer. So this deploying project and opening it is going to create or open something that looks remarkably similar to RStudio when you would have it installed on your computer. The beauty of RStudio.cloud is you don't have to install a program at all. It's running entirely off of, in this case, through Google Chrome. And the data and everything that I'm working on is unique to my account and it can store up to a certain amount. One thing that's cool about R that you know, it's not just because you're maybe a student, but R is a free software and it's a collaborative project. So it's constantly evolving and becoming better. And hopefully it will remain free for as long as you need it uh, for your classes, research, career, whatever. So now we've created our workspace by having hit that new project button. It still may not look like an Excel sheet to you, but we've, it's starting to look more like you know a, a computer program. If you want to, you can give this project a name. I'm gonna call it RStudio underscore week one, um, but you don't have to give it anything. You can leave it untitled. You can call it you know, penguins, it doesn't matter. And then, I might be interested in actually using it for some data analysis. So probably for you and for most people, one of the first steps is going to be to upload some data. So you've got stuff over here and this cursor's flashing, ignore that, you need data in here. So we're gonna click on upload. So I'm gonna upload some data here in a second. So I click on upload and I have to now choose a file. So it goes to my default and you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and my friend Jason helping me out with a picture for something else I'm doing at the university at the moment. But uh, what do we have here? I have to find wherever I downloaded my file. So in your case on Blackboard, I've got this EKUE cigarette data use file. You're familiar with something from Excel. Now it's a state of file, it's a different program. So you may use our studio and have like a SAS file or a Stata file. So I'm gonna use this one that I just downloaded today. So I'm gonna click on okay here or open. So I hit open, there's the file name, it's a .dta. .dta files or Stata files. So I hit okay and there it is. It pulled it up. Now, when I click on this, I'm going to see if it actually looks like a Stata file. It may ask me to do something. So view file. File is a binary rather than text. It doesn't know what to do. Import data set. There we go. That's what we want. Preparing import from SPSS, SAS, and Stata. So if you had an SPSS file or a SAS file or a Stata file, it will need to do something. In order to do it, it has to open up these two packages. Do you want to install these? Absolutely. So yes. And now what it's going to do is it's going to install those packages. It may take it a few seconds or a minute. Again, this is dependent upon your internet speed and your computer probably. So as this is doing this, it's installing those things so that once you have it on there, you'll be able to install to import files from SAS, SPSS, and Stata. Possibly other computer programs as well. So some person out there at some point created this package to make it easier for taking data from something like Stata and bringing it into R for your use. 
Some people may use R just for this purpose, just to convert data for them. So I'm gonna pause this while it's taking its time. So now it's running all kinds of stuff. All this stuff just downloaded it. It took it a good bit of time to get to this point and it's continuing to go and that's okay. So it has now got us to this screen, import statistical data. So you can see all that right there. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Does it look right? Are the things aligned? I don't like this uh, shift, but it looks pretty close in my opinion. I don't know if that's because I adjusted the screen size a little bit, but it looks pretty close. I've seen it when I've used RStudio in the past where it's been lined up perfect. We'll just say that it's probably okay. So I'm going to import. All right, now when I imported it, here I've got all the data organized in rows and columns just like we'd like to. And even when missing data or there's a blank, it has that gray NA, meaning it's been treated as a, a missing uh, data. So um, there we go. So I'm going to stop this video here. Hopefully this has been helpful and we'll go from there.